Okay, here we are for another draft. Uh, looks like we're going right in. Uh, what a terrible rare. Absolutely terrible. Um, you can gain some life with it, and the reason it's not great is because it's not really going to win you the game, it's just going to gain you some life, and that's it. Um, usually cards that gain life on their own. Maybe there's a card that draws a card, at least that's a little bit better. Uh, Savage Slam's pretty great with dinosaurs. Burden Rebirth. I think it's an okay combat trick. Uh, obviously this is great for dinosaurs because it costs two less, so it's just unbelievable. Um, this is a great white common. This is an okay blue common. Um, I like the Jade Guardian though. The rest of the pack. This is okay for vampires. This is okay for vampires. The, you wouldn't want to pack one, pick one of them. They're just not as powerful as like this, or this, uh, or this card here. So I think it's between these three. And I really like Merfolk. Although maybe it is just Savage Slam, I mean that's pretty good. But I'm... I think Savage Slam's pretty good. I'm gonna take the Jade Guardian. And... Rewarded with another Jade Guardian. Uh, or Kapala, which is, I, I think, pretty good. I mean, I didn't think effect was as good, but... It's, uh... It's, it's really nice, I mean... I mean, spells or abilities, it's just, you gotta pay two more if it's a Planeswalker even, it's crazy, I mean, I mean, obviously they're not gonna have a Planeswalker Unlimited, but uh, any removal spell, they're just gonna take them off tempo, take them off the turn or whatever. So it could be Jade Guardian and Kapala, I do like Kapala though. Jade Guardian though, I mean, that's a solid, another green card as well. Yeah, um, I'll take Kapala. With the Merfolk plan. Uh, no Merfolk here, unfortunately. So it could take something else. Could take this. This is a. Uh, this allows to splash a white card. Call to Feast is a decently powerful card. Three. I mean, it's three three creatures for one card. They're obviously weak, but they go well with the other vampires. I'm not really going to take a cancel. Um, I mean, I could play this guy in my deck. I wouldn't be super happy about it. I'm probably not going to play any of these to be honest, so I'm just going to take the Glacial Fortress. It could be worth some ticks as well. There's another Glacial Fortress. Um, but this time there's some options for us. There's Windstrider, which I, I kind of like as a maybe two of him, and he's more folk as well. Uh, Grazing Whiptail is good as well. Uh, signal wise, like what we're being passed, like this is a okay white card, this is a good okay white card, and this is a good red card for a red green dino. So if I had gone pack one, pick one, Savage Stomp, and then maybe taking a dinosaur pack, pack two. Um, I'm just going to take the Windstrider here, because it goes with our other picks. <coughs> and there's a pretty sweet Merfolk. Um, obviously, if we're in Dinos, I could take the 6-6 six, six, um, Dinosaur for 6 with Trample. He's pretty good, actually. He's a good finisher. I'm not too interested in the Blood Craze Paladin. He kind of takes a bit of setup, and sometimes you have to play him on turn 2, and it doesn't feel great. Um, but this is a really good Merfolk, because it's 2 and a green for either a 3-3, three, three, so it's 3 mana for a 3-3, three, three, or you draw a card, it being a land, or you can filter your deck as well, if it is a 3-3, three, three, so... It's pretty sweet. Um, spell Swindle, I made. Uh, I was playing this cool standard deck with Spell Swindle where I would Spell Swindle every spell and then I would Torment a Hailfire for a, a big amount. <laughs> but actually, in Merfolks, this enchantment is really, really good because you put it on a Jade Guardian and you know what can they do? Um, so I will take one with the wind. Uh, speaking of Jade Guardian, there's another Jade Guardian. Um, definitely gonna take that. I mean, it's just hexproof. It works really well with our enchantment. It works. I mean, it doesn't really work well with Kopala, but you know, you know, it's. Uh, it's still pretty good on its own anyway because you can put the counter on this or um, so I'm, yeah I'm definitely liking what we've got so far um, so there's another merfolk uh, he, he's a good mana sink but he's quite expensive I could take another wind strider and I definitely would play a wind strider um, I mean this goes well with, with Kapala I guess but I think I'll take another wind strider I think it's just more powerful card you know <laughs> This format seems to be decently fast. I mean, I've gotten some board stalls, so I guess the jungle level could be good. Here, this is the pack we open. I don't think I'm going to play any of these cards. Uh, the reason being, well, the three black cards, I'm not going to play them. The white card, I'm not going to play it. Spike Tail Ceratops, not too interested. I've already got two Wind Striders at the five mana, and he's not a Merfolk. <laughs> this card, I don't think you're ever going to activate it. So I'll take a Dress, because if I ever play Standard Online, I'll need a Dress. Oh, and uh, some exciting news. I uh, 
I bought a blue ice mic or whatever they're called, blue, blue ice or ice blue or something, something like that. So the cards are drawing up here. Our, our deck is still sweet. I mean, prosperous parts could be good for the splash. I mean, he's not. Uh, I'll, I'll take him. I'll put him in the board for now because he he creates treasures. So you know, I could splash something off those plus the glacial fortress. Um, here, I'll take the cancel of the sideboard if they've got planeswalker. I'll board that in. Um, but yeah, I've got the the microphone. And so yeah, hopefully the audio quality will be increased when that comes. It's probably going to come in sometime in November. So this week's videos plus the F and M videos on Friday, which I haven't recorded yet, they won't have super good audio. But only only one person complained so far. So you know, but look, it's 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 an improvement. So that's going to be good. <laughs> um, obviously the cards drawing up near the end of the pack, but. I mean, this deck looks pretty good. I mean, two Jade Guardians, this, this, this. I mean, th th this is a good deck. We don't have to play this, but I'm just leaving it there just in case I get a white card I want to splash. Um, I'm not going to splash any of these, but... Uh, well, I'll spread it. I'll just take the Skyblade. Uh, take this. Uh, I'll take the Sentinel Tone. Not too happy with that. And um, we've got seven playables, so if we get seven playables per pack, that means I'll have 21 cards, and then I can just throw two non-playables in, and it'll be fine. Excuse me, got a bit of a cold here. I was waiting uh, at the bus stop. The bus times had changed, so I was um, I was sitting in the cold for quite a long time. Uh, unfortunately, this pack is really bad for us. Legion Landing, very good card, but you know we're not in those colors. New Horizons is okay, actually. I could take that. Dive Down, I really like Dive Down. I might take Dive Down. This is not actually an expert. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, because again, the Jungle Delver, not too interested in them. I'll probably play one though, so I mean I could take him. I do like Dive Down. <laughs> so it's, I think I'm going to take Dive Down and hope to wheel this guy, which I think is a reasonable ask to wheel. <laughs> I'm going to take Dive Down. Now, what do we have here? We have Tishana's Wayfinder, one with the wind. Um, I mean, some of these other cards are like this is a good card, but it's not in Merfolk. This is a good card, but. I definitely prefer Tishana's Wayfinder or One with the Wind. Oh man, I really want that second One with the Wind. But I really like Tishana's Wayfinder. So I'll probably take Tishana's Wayfinder and like maybe I'll wheel One with the Wind. I think people are on to, like the enchantments are good in this set. I mean, look at that rate. It's like two mana for plus two, plus two on flying. I think that's pretty good anyway, even on a non-hexproof creature. Uh, here, this is, for me, I think this is too much to activate. Um, another dive down. I, I'd like a second one. I, I would play two. Um, Daggertooth. I've been underwhelmed by this card. I think people just can assign combat damage if they're a good player, and I think a lot, a lot of Magic Online players are very good. So, uh, dive down. Run aground, solid. Um, I do like War Trap Reavers though, and I'm probably going to take it because I think that is pretty sweet, especially if it just makes our Kapala better. Um, now, there's a, a sideboard card here. There's a third Windstrider. I don't know. Want too many Windstriders? This thing here. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight merfolk, so I think this goes really well. Otherwise, great cards in the pack are this is a really good red card um, because if you can somehow protect it, you can get more than one three three. Uh, Vanquish the weak, uh, just good removal, but um, it will be Shaper's Apprentice because most of the time it's going to be two mana for a two one flyer, so that's pretty good. So now I've got some options here. Um, Depths of Zyre, I usually like at least one of these. Uh, dive down, we saw another dive down that could potentially wheel, plus this one could wheel. Sailor Memes is or means is a good card. Um, is it, you know, he's an okay body for three mana. He can block, but it also give you a treasure to ramp you into your bigger spells. Uh, Looter, it's good with pirates because you're an aggressive deck, but uh, we don't really want it because it's it's not a merfolk. Uh, I think I'll take, I mean, I think I'll take Depths of Desire. A nice little bit of tempo and um, there's a there's a mythic, but I don't think it's a very good mythic. Could take this. We've no equipment and the equipment. That is used, that is good, is um, the Pirates Cutlass, and we don't have any parts, so I will take the combat trick. I don't know if I'll play it, but I probably will. I mean, it's pretty sweet. I'm, excuse me, hexproof creatures or pseudo hexproof creatures with Kapala. So I think this draft is going pretty good. If I can get that second one with the wind, I'll feel amazing about our deck. Like, amazing. And a third Jade Guardian can, couldn't hurt as well in pack three. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh, okay. 
sweet. So we got the Storm Sculptor, which we didn't have many four drops, and this is good with Tishana's Wayfinder, War Trap Weaver, and okay, that's about it. But still, I mean, it's good with end of the battlefield uh, triggers basically. Nothing in this pack for us here, so I'm just going to take the best card that I think is the best card. This is good with Dinosaurs. This is not good because it just gains your life and cycles a card. I don't think it's that great. Sure Strike, I think, is a good combat trick. This is pretty good. Um, because, I mean, not pretty good, I mean, it's okay, it just can trade with a big dino. It's probably Petrodon the Knight, or this. I think Queen's Angel, you can get a Queen's Angel anytime. And th this in the dino deck at 3 3 Flyer is actually pretty solid, so, especially for 4 mana, so I'll just cut that. Uh, I'll take the Jungle Delver, otherwise, Sky Legion's Judgment will be alright, especially Dual Shot and Ryle in the dino deck will be alright. I think this card's okay in an aggro deck, and I think this card is good in Vampires, so I'll take the Jungle Delver here. I'm not going to be ashamed to play him. Depths of Zyre. We're filling up on threes, so, but I will take it and we'll see if we play in the end. Oh, beautiful sideboard card. Um, rest of the pack, uh, I would take the Headstrong Brood of Eisen Pirates. Um, another sideboard card. This is great. I always like to have sideboard cards. Trove of Temptation. If there's ever a treasure stack on MTGO, maybe it'll be worth point not of a tick. So, pack three. We're looking to kind of fill up. Uh, I mean, we don't. we only have 16 playables. And we've got a I mean, we've got a glacial fortress. So, oh, display. How do we sort this? Um, um, well, no, get get rid of that. This. Oh my God, this is the worst. I guess pile view is the best. I can scroll. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, this pack is really bad for us. This card is really good. I mean, it's just great mana sink, uh, and it immediately is like, okay, can you answer this, or else I'm going to start. Stealing your creatures and attacking with them. Um, this is a really good, uh, you know, black red aggro card. This is a good removal for white card. A slice and twain, good sideboard card. Um, uh, this is good in vampires, nice and aggressive. This is okay in red green dinosaurs. Um, some okay pirates here. I cancel, I already have one for the board. Uh, Crash Ram Pirates, I don't think I'm going to play two, especially with only 11 creatures. Slice and twain could be the pick for sideboard cards, or I could splash Pirates in Addiction, but I'm just going to take this Slice and Twain. As it is in a okay, sideboard card now. Here we go. This is it. Um, just gonna zoom on this, make sure I read what it does. Um, I mean this. I mean we have to pick this. It's Merfolk. It just seems very cool. And I've never played it before, so we're gonna take it. Otherwise, I would take at Shannon's Wayfinder or War Trap Weaver. But uh, Aerial Mental actually is really good as well. But I will take the Mythic just because I've never played it before, and I've been reading lately that if you're unsure about what to pick. You probably should take like if it's between a rare and a good common that you, or a good common and uncommon that you already know is good. You should deviate to the rare or the mythic because you know how often you're going to get to the chance to play with that. And I used to just kind of avoid picking rares, I'm like okay, I don't know what that does, but you might as well try and and see how good it is. Um, here, the pack's kind of weak for us. I could take Pillar of Origins, choose Merfolk, ramp into Shanna. I'm not too excited about that. New Horizons um, for the splash as well as. Ramping into Tishana and putting a plus one plus one counter on a hexproof creature could be okay. I think I'll just take the second jungle delver here and not be too excited about it. Um, yeah, this is. We're not really getting anything here. Um, could be in the wrong colors, but I think the deck is still pretty good. Um, uh, this this ability here is good with Jade Guardians. Um, Prosperous Pirates is okay. Uh, Goring Ceratops, I'm not in white. Elaborate fire can. I've been unimpressed with it. I mean, I've been unimpressed with it. Basically, it's just a lot of a lot of mana to do a very small thing. So I guess I'll just take this guy and, and maybe play him. Okay, here we go. Got some options here. Uh, Herald Secret Streams. This wrecked me in when I was trying to go three zero with my Merfolk deck in the last draft because anyone with plus one plus one counters have some blockable, and he just won the mirror with it. So I'm definitely gonna take this. Otherwise, I could take the Blossom Guard. Works really well with New Horizons because you tap for two mana on tap. And then it's another two mana. Storm Sculptor, also a good card, so maybe will one of these, but definitely Herald of Secret Streams. Um, okay, here's a River Held's Boon. I wanted one of those. Uh, I complete, well, I mean, I, I, I knew I wanted them, but I forgot the card was there because I hadn't seen any. War Trap Reaver, also very good. This is good for if you're in Black White Vampires. Uh, this is good but also because it's three mana, two, two, so it's an okay rate, and then also, you know, temp it freezes your opponent's creature down for a whole turn, which is nice. But I'm going to take the River Herald Boon because most of our stuff is Merfolk. I'm going to cut this guy here. Um, you know, we could just load up on our third slice in Twain. Uh, I'm not going to play any of these cards, so I'm going to take that. Uh, Shaper Sanctuary. 
You just go full on hexproof here. I mean, it's a rare as well, so I'll, I'll just take it and see what happens. Another cancel or another crash. I'll probably more likely play a second crash in the main. I'm gonna cancel, so I'll take the crash. Oh, damn, I should have taken the cancel. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna play a third crash no matter what, so I'll just take the trove. <laughs> so it looks like we got a deck in the end. <laughs> Full on Merfolk. I mean, there's even Merfolk in, these picture, in this picture. Do we have any non Merfolk in here? Oh, Slicing Queen, get out of there. Okay, we didn't get a full deck. Two crashes. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, this looks pretty sweet. I mean, it looks pretty spicy. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's going to be good. Uh, New Horizons. I guess I don't want to get got, got by this. But, I mean, I do have Hexproof, so... <laughs> that card's really bad, so... Um, sure, I'll let someone have a, a Brontodon. Ooh! Got this in the wheel? Ooh, that's not bad. We could definitely play him. For sure. Okay, I'm actually pretty excited about this, guys. Um, I don't know if this is the exact deck. I, actually, I think it is. It's literally 23. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. I'd rather some more 2-drops, but, I mean, this this looks pretty spicy. One with the wind. We've got two Jade Guardians to put it on. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm excited. I'm not too excited about two Crash Ramparts, but... You know, I, I never go much combat tricks, but uh, it's looking pretty good. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to go 3-0 with this deck.